Keep the letter gay at the star. <laughs> <laughs> Williamsburg, we had to take a two-day trip to get to Georgetown, Kentucky. Yeah, anything over 400 miles, yeah. 450 tops, we break into a two-day trip. We stayed in Western Virginia, not West Virginia, but West, Western Virginia at Walnut Hills RV Park and Campground in, I think, Staunton, Virginia? Staunton, 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 Staunton. something like that. Really neat campground. Yeah. The spot that I picked online was, a, what was the name of it? I think it was called The Lookout. It was a spot all by itself up on this hill. It was really pretty Man, cool. Man, it was neat. I mean, we did have to go up a, a little bit of a hill, pulling the rig to get up to the top. But it's actually pretty, quite a big, quite a bit yeah, of Yeah, it was pretty steep. Unfortunately, it was a rainy, dreary day, so we couldn't really enjoy the lookout view at all. So look out. We're super crooked here. I'm curious to see how much of a gyration this thing makes doing the auto line. I know. Let's do it, because it's raining. In order to get it level, I don't think that the chalk's really going to help. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, it would be a nice place to go back because it was a large campground, but it was very pretty. It seemed like there'd be some pretty riding around there, too. So. Oh, yeah, definitely. So the second leg of the trip over to Kentucky yep. from Williamsburg via Western Virginia. Uh, it was a pretty drive. Yeah, West Virginia as well. Yeah, but Western we Virginia to, to West Virginia. Yeah. yeah, we had to go through West Virginia. It was a really pretty drive. There were a lot of cool like iron, I guess they're iron bridges, right? Yeah, it was pretty dry. to Georgetown, Kentucky, and we stayed at Whispering Hills this time. Mm -hmm. It was a pretty big campground. I don't know how many slots they had, but it was very big. The staff there was super helpful, drove us to the site, helped us pull into these <laughs> enormous pull through yeah. sites, which we didn't really need help with, but it, they, the staff was very nice. Very clean yep. ground. I had some nice amenities, had a pool. And yeah, I the think, pool seemed really nice. We didn't use it. Yeah, we, we've never been in a campground pool in a year. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, that's, I guess that's just how we are. <laughs> you got your new Thunder shirt on. How do you yeah. feel? You look skinny. Look at that. You get special tater chips with the Thunder shirt. So we're going for a ride to nowhere. Freaking bright. <laughs> it's, it's bright and hot. Just <laughs> put shades on. So uh, yeah, we're just gonna go for a little ride out to nowhere. Go explore. Gonna go see what this area has to offer. I think it's gonna have a lot of pretty scenery. Right. Yeah, it's so. about an hour and a half to anything specific, and we don't want to be gone for three hours today. It's supposed to rain. Yeah, I look rain like a giant then. mushroom head. Anyway.
our last video, which was in Williamsburg, you saw us having to push Lucille, AKA our motorcycle, up into the garage because it wouldn't start. Yeah, and no jokes from you Harley guys. <laughs> a lot of you actually sent us messages wondering what was wrong with her, so take it over, Chad. <laughs> so after much research online with engine codes and all that stuff, it turned out all it was was a bad battery. Somewhere in our travels, the battery had been drained very, very low. And you know with lead acid batteries, if you drain them to a certain point, they're just never quite the same. And the issue was just electrical to do with a bad battery. I end up finding a lithium ion battery, which is awesome because they're awesome. light and they're powerful and they hold a charge really well. But this one has a thing called a restart built into it. So mm -hmm. it's pretty cool. It somehow reserves part of the charge. If it gets to a certain level, it cuts itself off. So it has enough for a, its own jumpstart built into the battery. So I'll link that below. It's a pretty cool product. We like it. And Lucille is now off exploring and stuff again. She's healthy and <laughs> we're going on lots of cool rides. Thanks for checking in on Lucille. She That's appreciates right, it. We wanted to check out a highly recommended barbecue place. Yeah, I think it's called Babe's Barbecue. Babe's Barbecue, and I think even my friend Norma talked about it, but it was closed, so we went to Sunny's instead. No, we didn't. <laughs> so? We actually ended up at Big Boy. Oh, that's right. We just got seated. And we're hungry right now, so good thing. That's how I feel now. I feel like that. Put you inside. Do what you toe. Stay here. Do what you toe. Sit. Not, we don't want her to sit in the mud. That's true. Don't sit. You stay. Good girl. <laughs> Good girl. We're in the bluegrass state. Is that what this is? Yeah. Cool. It's been raining for four days straight. Yeah. Two travel days in the rain, across the mountains in the rain. Yeah. So we decided on a gloomy day what better thing to do than go taste some bourbon. Go see some. Go see some. Just look at it. That's some pretty bourbon. No, we're going to taste it. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go to Buffalo Trace Distillery today because it's one of the closest ones to where we are in Georgetown, Kentucky. Mm -hmm. And it's about 30 minutes from here, so I'm sure it's gonna be a pretty ride. We'll do it in the truck though for sure because rain. Yeah. Even though the sun just came out. It's it did. It's friggin' hot now. Yeah, it's steamy. You ready to do this? Yeah, let's go. All right. It was another pretty drive to get to Buffalo Trace, but of course it was still raining. Oh, of and, course. And gross. So there's that. I mean, that seems to just be a factor in this trip to Kentucky was rain. Buffalo Trace was cool. If you're gonna go there, plan a little bit further ahead than we did because yeah. they had some tours that we would have loved to have seen that just were booked up. Yeah, we were really bummed. They had what was called a hard hat tour, which took you a little bit more into the, the area where they do the mash and they actually do all the distilling and all oh, of that stuff. Oh, it smells stuff. so good. So we are here. Man, it smells good. Oh God, it smells you so good. You can smell the mash. To me, it smells kind of like warm grape nuts, but that's weird. But it smells delicious and hey. Hey. it's very busy. It's a Saturday, but they're coming into their busy season now. So if you want tours, come early. If you want the specialty tours, the hard hat is what yeah, it's called. Yeah, book them weeks in advance. Yeah, this time of year, I guess, is, is a busy season. So we're going on a tour in about 15 minutes. It's the oldest working distillery, I guess, in the U.S. Our and tour guide was really cool. Oh, uh, Bob? Well. <laughs> I wanted to call him Bob because he looked like Bob Newhart. Because <laughs> his mannerisms and he looked like it, looked like Bob Newhart, but his name was Don, and he was very cool, very informative. We have never not made out on this location. Even during Prohibition. Even during Prohibition. They were allowed. Yeah, medicinal purposes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I guess for medicinal purposes, you would go and you would get a prescription for it. <laughs> 
your little cough. You basically get prescribed the equivalent of an ounce of bourbon a day. The tour through the barrel room was friggin' cool and it smelled amazing. That was so cool. That was probably one of the best parts, I think. Some of the barrels had stickers on them that said experimental and that's exactly what they are. I guess they're just different recipes that they're trying out. And what's crazy is one of those big giant barrel rooms has since collapsed. Really? One of their buildings, the whole side of it just fell. Oh, well, that's scary. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I hope nobody was in there. Because we didn't reserve in advance, we ended up just taking the basic tour, which really didn't give us um, exactly what we were looking for. I mean, But it did have a tasting at the end. It did have a tasting. <laughs> that was key. And we did want that. So they let you try several different things. They let you try their moonshine, and then they let us try, I think, two different bourbons. Their basic bourbon, I don't even know what it's called. And then they have like one of their um, higher end, older- Barrel aged. Yeah. Barrel aged bourbons. Then, then they busted out the bourbon cream. And now we're hooked on bourbon cream. Yeah. Which to you hardcore bourbon drinkers is gonna be like, right. why would they even like that? Look, we're not these like, we're not hardcore alcohol drinkers like we might seem that we are. <laughs> we like a drink, we like a beer, we like a yeah. wine. Yeah. We're not the straight bourbon drinking kind of people. No, but they also make their own root beer and they put them together and they made what they called an adult root beer float. It's delicious. And now we're hooked on adult root beer floats. I had one Thanks, yesterday. Thanks, Buffalo Trace. We haven't been able to find the actual Buffalo Trace bourbon cream anywhere except for at Buffalo I Trace. No. Hey. Hey. <laughs> yes, dear. Cheers. Cheers to drinking bourbon in Kentucky. Drinking bourbon in Kentucky on our patio. We finally have a good patio evening. I know. Hey, Daisy, you keeping guard? Are you guarding for us? So what we're doing? What we're doing today? We're going to have a spot of tea. What does it look like we're doing? Of course we are. So we're just gonna go for a little ride into downtown Wayne's Wayne. Wrong. Georgetown. Georgetown. That was, that was close. And it looks like they have a cute little downtown area, so we're gonna just, I don't know, ride around there, see what we can find. There's a couple restaurants and stuff. Yeah, just basically get out. It's, it stays light here till like nine o'clock, yeah. so it's pretty cool. We're not used to that in Florida. So. Plenty of time after after a work day to get out on the bike. Again, it was kind of another one of those rides where we didn't really know where we were gonna go, but we wanted to go check out the little city of Georgetown. Right. And Quaint, cute little town, which yeah. we love.
we came across Georgetown College. Didn't even really realize it was there, but it was yeah. a really pretty little campus. Mm -hmm. And there was also a little Irish pub that we popped into thinking maybe they had food, but they didn't. So we didn't stay, but it looked really cute. It looked like they had several little restaurants in that little downtown area mm -hmm. that we could have chosen. And we just driving around found a place called The Feed. It was called Local Feed? Local Feed. Yeah, a great little restaurant. And it's one of those farm to table kind of places. Oh, it's delicious. Literally farm to table. Yeah, so they don't just source their meat. They just get a whole cow. Yeah. And they said a cow lasts them how long? Gosh, I want to at least, yeah. Apparently cows have a lot of meat on them. Every night there's a different special and it's going to be a different cut of meat. We happen to get there the day that they just got their new cow in. Kind of weird to say, but man, those steaks were good. Yeah, they're really good. It was delicious. We were just at Local Feed. Local Feed. Celebrating 106 subscribers. 106. <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna celebrate. Every time we go out, it's gonna be a celebration. <laughs> but we did it in uh, 48 hours. We did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, it was it was worth celebrating. Yeah. Work. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're starting to see, you're starting to see closest to mommy. Since Buffalo Trace was really the closest distillery to uh, where we were staying, that was the only one that we visited. Yeah. Plus, we had to cut our trip a little bit short for had some a, family stuff. Had a family emergency. Mm -hmm. We had to zip over to North Carolina for a little yeah. bit. One of the uh, pluses of living in an RV is you can just take your house wherever you need yep. to go at the time. Yep. I personally would like to go back to Kentucky and spend some time maybe doing more of the bourbon trail. Yeah, I'd love to see the at least most of the bourbon trail. Yeah, because each distillery is different and unique according to some of our friends and people that we know that have done them. Um, I wish we would have had a little more time to spend there because yeah. there's probably some good breweries around there too. Mm -hmm. but it was a short visit, but we had a good time while we were there. Our next visit is we're heading up to Ohio to hang out with my family for a little bit mm -hmm. and just get some good family time in so we're hitting the road and heading north so we hope you liked this video please subscribe bing down there click the bell please follow us on instagram and facebook and go to our website and register there because we do a lot of different things on the website that you might not see on youtube facebook and right. instagram register so that you don't miss a thing yeah all right bye we gotta head up we gotta <laughs> we gotta get on the road to ohio now